We are a group of students who attend uh, Kingsfield and Bury St Edmunds. We started working on our project in September 2014. During our project, we looked at our plans for the future. Our project is about preparing us for college and future employment. We've talked about jobs and the employability skills we need for the world of work. I, once again, don't know. Even a small one, nothing at all. You've got no hopes or dreams at the moment. Mm -hmm. okay. We interviewed our teachers at Kingsfield. I would say I was an average student at school, um, but one of those that sort of got lost. I wasn't naughty and I wasn't really good, I was just in the middle. Actually I was a real big geek. I was sometimes quite a handful. I was very quiet at school, um, we moved around a lot because my dad was in the army so I found it very difficult to make friends so I used to sort of try and keep to myself a little bit. I did very well, I got 10 A to C's at GCSE. but because I was quite mischievous as well, I found myself in trouble as much as I was working hard. To get boys to like me, I used to do their homework for them. I always wanted to be a baker. I wanted to be an actress. To be a nurse. And it was quite strange because I was told by a teacher that it was a male profession and I wouldn't be able to do it. For a lot of years until towards the end of school, I actually wanted to be a lawyer. Um, and then somebody told me that you had to work seven years past all your sort of further education and I soon changed my mind about that. Prue is a school where young people would attend that are struggling in mainstream. So it might be for a number of reasons. Uh, it could be that they are school phobic or they um, have medical reasons. It's slightly different to here. This, we're a satellite of the PRU, and here, young people attend mainly because they've been excluded from mainstream school. My hopes and dreams are that um, I can move out into the country. To carry on making a difference for the young people that I work with. The other day, I literally did have a dream about owning a large foster home for young people. So if I ever won a lottery, that would be my dream. And we can have a bit of land, is what we want to do, and have some animals, and just take a little bit of pressure off, really. I'm going to be a world famous artist. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We visited West Suffolk College to find out about college life. We interviewed students, tutors, and vice principal. College is different in the way that um, it's a much more adult environment. Um, obviously you, you choose to come here, um, so that differs from school, as at school it's compulsory education, although college is now partly compulsory education. I think college is very different because it's about preparing you for the world of work and your next step. So for a start, we work over a normal working day, which is nine to five, as opposed to a short school day. Um, it's a much more adult environment. You're, um, you're engaged, you are driven to sort of work through different pathways, creative outcomes. You're free, you know, break times, you can just nip up to co-op, get something to eat, come back, brilliant, go do some work. It's not as boring as school, quite frankly. You got the subject that you want to do. Yeah, I love being at college because um, it's better than being at the Pro because you get you get more freedom in the college than you do at the Pro. Well, the college has got a fantastic reputation. So, for a start, if you were to have a look at what Ofsted, who inspect schools and colleges, say about us you'll find that they're very complimentary and that it's all about the fact that we deliver outstanding education and training for the young people who come and study with us. I think the other thing that attracted me to the college was the fantastic range of facilities which are absolutely splendid and you really get a feel that it is about preparing you for the world of work. 
The question of support is what kind do you need because we've got a full range. You get the best support here at West Suffolk College. Um, as someone who teaches we support you and guide you through the course. Um, as a course director I will be having uh, individual tutorials with students, supporting, guiding them, advising them. We have an amazing support team outside of our department as well that you can um, access at any time. If you don't know something, just ask. You know, you're asking them on first name basis, you don't need to go, sir, waiting for them to come to you. Go to them, ask them, I need help with white balance or whatever it is. And um, yeah, they're there like that. The advice that I always give to every young person is apply as early as you can because we are a very popular college so it's nice to be able to see young people who are applying for September 2015 uh, by uh, December but that doesn't mean to say that if you don't manage to get it in, get your application in, that um, you won't be able to come to college. Take the course that you want, not what your friends take it. If you can start to think about what your career aspiration is, what job you might like to do, then we can help you to find a course that's suitable. And if you don't like it, only do a year and do another course. Well, every single student will complete an application form and on the basis of that we'll have a look at what you've said about yourself and invite you in for an interview. And that's the really, really important part of the work that we do, is making sure that we give you that initial advice and guidance. We visited two local businesses. How long have you been working here and what are some of the benefits? Um, I've been working here since 2007 um, when I set up my own business. The main benefit really is being self-employed and working for myself. There's lots of benefits involved in that to be honest. Um, and it's a hobby that turned into a career which is the other major benefit. I've been working here for just over three years. Um, I think one of the best things about working here is being in this beautiful place. When I come to work every morning, whatever the time of year and whatever the weather, it looks amazing. I came here in August 2010 um, and I love it here. It's, it's an organisation which I'm very passionate about and I think it's, it's very important the work it does. Um, and for my job in particular, just loads and loads of varieties. So every day is different. I've been working here about three years altogether, and I think the best thing about working at Ickworth House is just being here, really. It's that I, I love the house. I work with some really nice people who have lots of different interests. I've learned a lot about the paintings, I've learned a lot about the people that used to work here. Um, and I get to do some quite interesting things, so some days I can be running a, a course for somebody, other days like today I'll be working with you, um, and we get to run events, and I get to try things like cakes that the cooks have made in the kitchen, so my day is never the same. What other jobs have you done? I've brought up a family, and I've worked in the theatre. I, well, I actually trained as a chef. So I've worked in kitchens and in shops. Before working here, I was in a signed band. So I was a professional musician on tour all the time. And that's kind of what led me to doing what I do. Very different. I was in the Royal Air Force and I spent 16 years as an air traffic controller. I worked for a publishing company called Penguin Books. I then worked for the government. I worked for the Home Office for a while and I was the press officer to the Home Secretary. Did you know what you wanted to do when you left school and did you have a dream job? I didn't know what I wanted to do when I left school. I did. Uh, I actually did want to join the Royal Air Force and I wanted to be an air traffic controller. No, I didn't. What advice would you give me if I was coming here for an interview? I think it's really important when you come for an interview with the National Trust to do your research before you come. So go on the website, ICWIF has a very detailed website and learn a lot about the place so that when people ask you questions about what, what ICWIF is about you can answer those. I would say be enthusiastic, be confident and show an interest in the job that you're applying for. How many people work here and do you provide training? Goodness, if we were to include volunteers and they work here as well, we're talking about 500 people. 
technically there's only me and Joe in the cafe, but um, I have other people that come in and do freelance stuff. What qualifications would I need to get a job here and what do you expect from a young person who wants to work with you? You need some of the basic ones like maths and English, but after that it's more about wanting to learn and, and showing an interest in the subject and also uh, good listening skills and being articulate. And I think after that there's a variety of options that you can take up. Quite often many of our staff start off as volunteers and they volunteer in key departments. So for instance our senior ranger started off by volunteering here and working with the ranger team. So I think it's really about following your interests and being shown willing and kind of learning on the job as well. Uh, it depends what job you're applying for. but. Um... In the music side of things, it's very it's very difficult to go by qualifications, and it's more experience. I think it's really important to be confident, and confidence is often something that's quite difficult to get. So it's what we call you have to fake it to make it. So you're smiling, maintaining good eye contact with people, and showing an interest. Confidence helps. Um, Enthusiasm helps, um, just the ability to learn and listen to people's demands and sort of, you know, do what your employer asks you to do. But it's not just about qualifications, it's about your knowledge of life, so sometimes it's about what, not just what the job can give to you, but what you can bring to the job too. We do, yes, we have work experience, that's part of my job here. And we quite often we take people from school between 14 and 16. Um, I do, but I get so many requests for work experience that um, it's tricky to take everyone on. So I kind of take on the ones that seem the keenest. We also interviewed a prison governor. Well, I've been at Halsey Beer for 10 years and I like all aspects of my job as it happens, because we're resettling families, bringing families together. Rehabilitation work is, is what we joined the service for, to try and make a difference to someone's life. Well, I've been in the prison service 26 years. I joined in 1988. Before that, I was in the Royal Navy, and I served in the Royal Navy from 1982 when the Falklands War was on, and uh, left in 19. 88 as it happens. When I was in your age, uh, I hadn't got a clue. Uh, as I said in my briefing earlier on, um, I had some teachers believing I would end up in prison. One in fact telling me I would end up in prison. Um, and I wasn't academic at all. I wasn't bright. I left school actually at 16 with no qualifications. And I hadn't got a clue what I wanted to do. What I did know, I wasn't academic. What I did know is that I needed to change, I needed to get out of the lifestyle that I was in, or the trap that I was in, and I joined the Navy. Fascinating, not really, but I am allergic to sea water. But I joined the Navy, I can't even swim very well, but I joined the Navy, and that I think was really the making of me. So I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew I had to do something, and joined the armed forces is what I did. And I went to the University of Life, instead of academic university. I think um, if you're going to go to an interview to an organisation, you need to know what that organisation is about. You need to know what it is they're looking for. What qualities are they looking for? That's what I would say to do, is to learn the organisation, not all of it, but something about it. And then you need to think about what it is they're going to ask you about, because obviously they're going to ask you about you. So you need to have asked yourself questions about you and be able to talk about them to yourself. And the fact of the matter is, if you can't convince yourself, I would say, how are you gonna convince somebody else? I can't sit here and tell you that you need good grades. I think that's what your teaching staff will tell you. I think, um, I, think I grasped opportunity and made the most of it for myself. But if academic world is not for you, I'm living testimony actually, that there is a way to the boardroom and it's just a tougher route. So in relation to your question, I think 
qualifications is one thing self-belief in you is paramount I think if you have um, sipped from the cup of resilience at a young age then you're going to have a chance to have that resistance to make something for yourself but the reality is you have to make it yourself and you have to take the opportunities that are there for you so in order to do that really I think you have to have that self-belief and I think you have to have that commitment to you and everything that you engage in. We took part in the Suffolk Skills Day. There's all sorts of things here and it's really interesting and shows that there's so much you know, so many different options for careers in Suffolk. Well, we've had a fantastic um, audience so far, um, several thousand kids, and they all seem to be engaging, participating, so uh, that's a good start. I think it's a fantastic day. I think it gives a whole opportunity for lots of young people to come along and find out far more about all the different careers um, that are on offer today. The day is, uh, it looks really uh, dynamic at the moment. There's, uh, there's loads of events going on everywhere, uh, whatever the interest may be, from your engineering, your sports, uh, your hospitality, media design, it's massive going on, really hands-on, really interactive for those who uh, have participated, I can see so far. Uh, yeah, today's been really good. Uh, there's quite a lot of stalls for opportunity for people to see what is available in the army. And it's good that I think everyone's getting involved, so getting a bit of a feel for things as well. We've really enjoyed it so far. I've had six or seven of our Willis colleagues with me, and we've already found there's been lots of enthusiasm, lots of energy. It's been excellent. It's very interesting and really helpful, uh, especially the colleges that are here in different sick forms and uh, the careers advice, which I really need help with. So. Uh, today's been really good. We've got a lot of information uh, from various people. It's a very interesting day, I like it. Because you get to go around and see loads of different jobs, so it's not just one sector, it's a broad, var broad variety. Um, I think it's been quite useful because I can see future career opportunities. I've really enjoyed going around the college and visiting all the different companies. I personally enjoyed going around Ickwith House. I think it's been good, like, you go there and you get different experiences and you can like, get a gist of what you want to do when you're older. I think they were great to like, help businesses and students communicate easier to find out what job options they can take and what they need to do to achieve those options that they can be given in their future. I think the most important one that I learned is that how many options are out there even when there seem like so very few that there is more and more for every action you make in school and out of in an educational form. To get a job is not all about exam results, it's also about being you as a person. That it, the places we've visited there's quite a lot of it uh, I'm not very interested in but it's been good like going there so now I know like I don't want to do it but in like what we're doing like uh, that is quite interesting and I wouldn't mind doing something along them lines if football don't work when I'm older. Working on this project has built my confidence a lot. Um, I think it has a little bit like where we've gone round to places and I've, ha I've had to talk to strangers. I'm not very, I wasn't very good at that before I'd done this. I'd say yeah because I usually find it I wouldn't say difficult to talk to people, but like I feel uneasy or worried that I'll say something wrong. But then asking questions to people I've never met before and then having them answer them in a more positive way and not having to worry about what I could say go wrong, it was it's a big like confidence booster in that sort of factor. I'd say it's helped me communicate better with other people and get to know them easier and you know, be more friendly with them and help me work as well so I can come and do this project. Um, I think it's not, it's helped me but then I've, I want to do more stuff like this so then I get bored when I'm in school because I want to do more stuff like this but obviously I can't. Um, but it, I think it's helped me realise that I do have to settle down and get some GCSEs to go places even though it's not all about GCSEs. Being on this project has made me want to work harder to get my GCSE so I can get a better job. It has, it's gave me a little bit more confidence and it's made me grow up a little bit that made me realise um, to like look out, like uh, look forward and like know what I want to do and be a bit more mature. To get a job is not all about exam results, it's also about being you as a person.
I can see it in many places, but one of them is like doing this sort of thing with people who are similar to the way I have been in doing this project, like helping them expand their horizons and see what GCSEs and jobs they want to get, take them to events to, you know, see what paths they can take and what it'll lead to and what good jobs they can get. Um, my immediate one's GCSEs, then after that, um, if football don't work, then hopefully my GCSEs can help me get, go like somewhere else in life and get a good job. I'd say it's helped me communicate better with other people and get to know them easier and you know be more friendly with them and help me work as well so I can come and do this project. Taking part in this project has been a good thing to do and I would recommend it to anybody.